You know how to crack it. Well, I'm gonna try. Let's see. Uh, wow. It's okay. Either the servant carries us on their back or we are in a rickshaw. Bamboo. <laughs> then you slash this. Okay. My mother always feel very proud. I got so many kids. They all quite good looking. One of the Mandarin's signature dishes. Beggar's chicken. She was born almost a hundred years ago in a China that no longer exists. Her privileged childhood was interrupted when the Japanese invaded and she was forced to flee, and then flee again when the communist revolution swept over China. But Cecilia Chang is a survivor, and in the 1950s, she sailed into San Francisco. Though she had never cooked a day in her life, she opened the Mandarin, an acclaimed restaurant that would revolutionize Chinese food in America. She mentored some of America's greatest chefs, the likes of Julia, James Beard, and Alice Waters. Now in her mid-90s, Cecilia is mentoring a new generation of San Francisco chefs and sharing her century of kitchen wisdom. This is something we learned since we, we were even young. We learn how to tolerate. You have to tolerate with the situation, tolerate with the war, tolerate with the, the separation with the family, because this is heaven all the time in our country. My grandmother was born in a time and place that is unimaginable to most of us today. Cecilia and her family of 14 lived a peaceful and prosperous life in their sprawling family compound from 1924 until 1939. I remember those days where no matter where we go, either the servant carry us on their back or we are in a rickshaw. In those days, a uh, big family is not uh, very unusual. All kids will all get along really well. My mother always feel very proud. I got so many kids. They all quite good looking and always also all dressed very well. We had a private tailor at home. Springtime, I remember the whole family, we went to a park, see all the flowers and have a lunch. Then my mother used to tell us, what is this, what is this, this, what is this? The, you know, th this is the only time you can get these vegetables, you can get that. So learn a lot of things from my, my mother and uh, my father just just really enjoy and have a little wine with a lunch. It was a good and pampered childhood. But in 1937, when my grandmother was in college, the Japanese invaded, and by 1939, they marched into Beijing, seizing most of the family compound and seizing my grandmother's idyllic life along with it. My sister and number five and I, we walked from Beijing to Chongqing. Disguised as peasants, they walked over a thousand miles, finally making it to Chiang Kai-shek's Free China. In uh, January 1942, we decided to leave. But uh, actually, we never left the family before. And uh, we were so young, didn't know anything, and never been out of Beijing. Problem with, with uh, our families, we didn't have enough food, everything on ration. No rice. The rice is only for Japanese. They call the royal soldier to eat. We, we cannot get anything. So finally, 
my number five sister and I, we decided we really should leave. We all cried because we don't know when we're going to see them again. And also very scared because we didn't know where is Chongqing. Most of the time, we walk nighttime and daytime we try to find a place to rest. And um, the Japanese uh, airplane was flying really low and shooting all the students. All the way, very hard to get some uh, decent food because from village to village. And we didn't have a map. We have to ask the people in the village, what is the next village? And what is, uh, how far it is from here to Chongqing? Each place you go, you have a different uh, kind of uh, money. So my mother said, well, if you run out of money, what are you going to do? So she bought a lot of these one ounce gold pieces. And we used to call it a, a little fish, the shape just like a little fish. So in my coat, so I wear, I wear that in the lining. Sure enough, when we just uh, go through Henan province, going to cross the border to free China that time. And the Japanese soldier saw us and then robbed us, took all our luggage away. We didn't have anything, anything. Not even a, a toothbrush, nothing. When we crossed the free zone between occupied China and uh, free China. They make a ditch so wide. So we have to hire somebody to use a rope to pull us from this side to other side. That's a really, that really hard trip. Took us uh, from Beijing to Chongqing, five and a half months. Yeah, I was born in like South my Africa. grandmother, South African-born Lawrence Jossel traveled a long way to open a restaurant in San Francisco. Uh, we left in Johannesburg to come to Houston, Texas in 1978. So quite a long time ago. So I, like you, I arrived in the States when I was nine years old. So now they call me an American with good manners. Nopa is named for its location, north of the Panhandle. With its open kitchen and always packed bar, it's a happening restaurant that stays open well after other places have closed for the evening. The food is both urban and earthy, an approachable style that matches Joss's personality. He eschews Chef White's for a more casual look and uses just about every form of fire to turn out his rustic and robust food. Don't have an open fire in the desert and camel dung to cook on. That's what I want. I want those flavors, camel dung. But I look all over Had he not turned out to be a natural in the kitchen, Lawrence may well have ended up doing stand-up comedy. But his cooking is nothing to laugh at, and he and Nai Nai speak the common language of great food. Cecilia, I, I picked up your book, yes. and I looked through the book, and uh, there's one recipe I'm very interested in, and it's a, it's a classic recipe of yours from the Mandarin. I've read a lot about it, but I'd like you to show me how to do it. It's called the beggar's chicken. Yes, the, the beggar's chicken uh, started is, uh, in uh, Hangzhou, near Shanghai. Uh -huh. In the old days, in China, we have a lot of uh, poor people. Yes. In China, chicken is very expensive. Chicken more expensive than meat. How do you say chicken in Mandarin? Ji. 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 Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And sometimes the poor people on the street, yeah. so they steal a chicken from somebody's yard, you know, and then they don't have anything to cook with. So they just put some mud and right. started fire cooking. That's the started beggar, beggar's chicken. Now, of course, in the, the restaurant, you put some stuff in, some right, sesame. Right, right. You can't see it up. Yeah. Now, I've looked at the recipe, and the recipe is, a, is at least two hours in the oven, right? Yeah. Sometimes two and a half hours, depending on the size of the chicken. How did you do that in the restaurant? 
We have about four of them special for the baked chicken. So about. you had a big kitchen? And we have a big kitchen. Right. Yeah. And then modernized. Right, right, right. Wall to wall stand is still. A lot of the dish is the presentation at the table, right? Yes, yes. So you crack at the table? Yeah, crack on the table. Right. Mm -hmm. And we have a special tray. Oh, really? And also a car. Right, right, right. Yeah. And everybody, ooh, ah. Yeah, that's right. right. And also we have a bigger wooden a hammer. Right. Hammer. And we crack it. Right. I just always ask for the guests of honor, crack it. Oh, they crack themselves? Yeah. yeah. It's a show. Yeah, know? of course it's a show. And people love it. Right, right, right. I think this is one of the most popular dish in uh, Mandarin. You sold a lot. Days. We sold a lot. And also, like Chuck Williams, a favorite. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. every time he come in. I want bigger chicken and also James Beard. James Beard as well. Yeah. These are guys yeah. with very good palates, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's let's make the chicken together. Is that yeah. okay? Okay. Okay. In China, we use everything for stock. Everything. <laughs> Do we need the the nose? Mm -hmm. You know, keep the nose keep because it? you know why? Otherwise, all the water come out. Okay. Good call. And also, a lot of people love the, that nose. Yeah, my dad. Yeah, my father <laughs> loved the nose. All right, I'm going to get all the ingredients to make the marinade, yeah, yeah, okay? Yeah, all right. Do you remember the recipe? Uh, I don't remember I, the recipe. I just remember. I have to tell you, I have never used a recipe in my life. So first thing is one teaspoon of five spice. The flat, flat. flat. Oh, so you're being strict, huh? Yeah. Two teaspoons of sesame oil. Two teaspoons of oyster sauce. If you put the sesame oil first, it comes right out, right? Yeah, that's right. It's a good trick. Two teaspoons of sugar. Will you hold that for me? Mm -hmm. Now you're cooking in your house. You use teaspoons, or you just use? I just use my hand. Yeah, me too. Pinch it here, pinch it there. <laughs> so a lot I of pinching use. going on. Yeah. And we're gonna do one tablespoon of soy, a big, big spoon. A little bit more yeah. to make it saltier. And we do the mushroom soy. Yeah. Yeah, I like this stuff. Two tablespoons of this, right? Yeah. Okay. This actually don't have the taste. It's just, just color. color. You want to add anything? You taste it. Not salty enough. That's why it's yeah. very hard to judge with this. So we double it up. Agreed. Okay. Let's marinate the chicken, okay? And just rub inside. Nice yellow hands. You can uh, rub also inside. This is what I do. I put it back in the bowl. Yeah. And then back into so the chicken. You put it in this so you get the flavor. Right. We cook right away or we marinate this for a little bit of time? Usually you marinate it uh, ahead of one hour or something. A little bit of time, yeah. okay. All right, so now you think we're ready to make the stuffing? Yeah. All you right. Can make it I'll put stuffing. this on the side, okay? Mm -hmm. It's a bamboo. <laughs> then you slash this. Okay. And again on the other yeah, side. So that's right. Whoa. And corner okay. as well? Yeah. One more. This is very hard. Very hard. Yeah. And then we can peel it. I've never used fresh bamboo shoots before. I've See seen that? them um, eaten by panda bears. <laughs> Not the deep enough. Okay. Here, you need another slash. I slash. Yeah. Expensive. Five ninety-five a pound. Five ninety-five a pound. Yeah. Yeah, but it's great texture and it smells yeah. really good. It's yeah, very really? fresh. Then you, you can peel. Keep peeling. Keep peeling. Mm. Like an artichoke. Where do these grow? These are all imported in China. Imported? These are from the southern part. And yeah. in the northern part of China, they don't grow because the weather too cold. Right. These are roots, actually. 
That's a neat ingredient. Waste a lot. Yeah, I know. Then you trim this. So just trim a little bit? That's right. Mm. The bottom is still a little wood, huh? Yeah. A little woody. But you don't use the bottom part. Okay, now, See, I, sp now I split? This part is too hard. It's too you hard. Cannot, Do you want me to cut that off? Cut it off. Okay. It's about there, huh? Yeah. Okay. Now you can cut like slice, mm -hmm. and then you like you section that. I think that's in probably enough. You think that's enough? Mm -hmm. Save. Put but it in your purse. But no, no. <laughs> so we make the stuffing with this. Yeah. So this stuffing is very easy. These are the shiitake. That's enough. Okay, we save it for later. Yeah. Back in the purse. Got it. Water chestnuts? I don't think you need to cut. Done. Yeah. Easy. Easy. Yeah. Okay. And then ham. So the we, ham. we make this ham. You make this. You want to try it? Yeah, that's a, what your last try time it. you said. It's salty and sweet. And I get it from the pig, from the, the leg, and I brine it one week. Very good. And then smoke it on this. Maybe, maybe people a little more. More ham? Ham. All right. So this much. And then I see Nice steal. small flavor. It's good. Green onion? That's fine. And then smash a little ginger. That's enough. And smack? Mm -hmm. Like this? That's right. It's okay? All right, we have the stuffing. And now we put inside the chicken. I put it inside. Now, what I noticed when we use a, a lot of stuffing, it keeps the shape of the chicken. Otherwise, they shrink. Yeah. Yeah, this way. Doesn't look keep, like little old man anymore. Yeah. <laughs> get the, the, the sauce. Get the, get the also, sauce inside as well. The, you got it. You can mix with the sauce. I think you're right. Get the flavor. Right. All right. This is very satisfying. Just a perfect, uh, I think, the amount. Perfect amount? Yeah. This is going to be a good chicken. The next part of this I'm very excited about because we're going to use a lotus leaf. Mm, then, are you going to close this? I'm going to tie the leg. You can use a toothpick. Oh, really? Seal this up. So this way, and the stuffing won't come out. All right. You want me to get a toothpick? Yeah, that's right. Just All right. Like that. Let me get a toothpick. I'll be back in an hour. Uh. <laughs> All right. So we're going to toothpick it here. Mm -hmm. Pick up the skin and just go That's through. That's right. Like a baby. <laughs> this is a very fresh chicken. Yeah, very fresh. Yeah. This is from a farm we use. Farm, farm. Oh, River Dog, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just get more of that beautiful juice. Yeah, see that? Yeah. Perfect. Now we're going to put the lotus on. Then you put the lotus seed. OK, we do that next. Mm -hmm. Cecilia, mm -hmm. look at this lotus. Wow, beautiful. So this I soaked in hot water, but it shouldn't be hot water, right? Yeah, I think the best thing, you still keep the flavor yeah. and the texture lukewarm. Lukewarm. Mm -hmm. Let's find two good pieces. Oh, oh. that's good. That's, that's good? That's good. So we put lotus down, and uh, like the umbrella is on the outside, huh? Yeah, that's right. OK. And put chicken here. A little S&M. Mm. And now we wrap. Tell me if I'm doing it right, okay? Like this. That's Turn sideways. Yeah, like. Okay. Well, oh, that makes sense. Okay. Okay, now we have to put this. In the clay. In the clay. So. I'm a cook, not a potter, right? Yeah. But I found this clay. This is quite a piece of uh, clay. This is five pounds. Where you get it? Is I went to three different uh, pottery stores, and I finally found this one. 
and they're going out of business. Right. So I bought 100 pounds. We can make beggars everything. You everything. want to make a beggar's pig? Yeah. I got the clay. <laughs> All right. So I do this. Give it a little head start like dough, right? Then you. You can get a lot of aggression out like this. Yeah, yeah. I feel good. You having a hard day? Okay. I'm just going to roll it. So it takes a little bit of time. At the Mandarin, did you pre-do this? You did this before. Uh, we buy a loose one and mix with You make the clay? Also. Oh, you bought the powder. We pot, yeah. And then we make our own. I think that's about... That's about right? Now. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm tired. Good exercise. It is good exercise. All right, it's loose, it's ready. I'll put the chicken on. So the chicken, we go breast side down, right? Yes. Because that's the part to part right. to cook. Now this is the wings here, yeah. I can feel it. This is the leg and this is the, the nose, right? And now this is what I You'll need you to show me. wrap it up. So we wrap it up. So same like the lotus, right? Yeah, that's right. Like this. It's a big chicken. But what's important is to keep it uh, airtight, huh? This is the fun part, honestly. Yeah, make it close to the close to the to chicken. The chicken I and see. then this way, they keep it seals. the heat. Okay, that seems pretty tight to me. Very tight now. Yeah. Mm. So now I'm gonna flip it onto a sheet, breast side up. Can I open this for you? Sure. We try. And then, you know how to crack it, do I'm, you? I'm gonna try. Let's see. <laughs> All right, first, uh, right? Yeah. And we're gonna do this. Wow. Okay. That looks like the clay perfect. Well Let's then. see. And then the lotus leaf is so all cooked, all cooked. Wow, see the heat? It's very hot. Yeah, very yeah, hot. It smells delicious. Yeah. Like an earthquake. Wow. Perfect. It smells good. So I'm gonna cut a little bit around and yeah. then we'll put it on the plate. Yeah, and that will be it. fine. Because now I'm already hungry. I use Chinese scissors. Uh, that's right. I noticed that. <laughs> made in China. <laughs> Everything's made in China. Everything made in China. Including you. <laughs> I'm made in China. Right. Okay, this is good. I'm gonna take this as well. Oh yeah, legs are falling apart, right? Now this is the hard part. Yeah. It's hot. Hot. But everything is safe. All right. See this? You, you use a knife. So we're gonna cut it, we're gonna cut separate the legs off? The leg first. Okay. So like this, one side. One side. Yeah. You just and open then, up. Straight down the middle. That's right. Then you open up. Okay. Oh, perfect. Look at that heat. Yeah, that is hot. Yeah. You're the winner. <laughs> just today. You're the lucky one. You want some sauce? Yeah, you can get some cook. Do they do that in China? Yeah. Wishbone? Yeah. Actually, the inside the serving is nice flavor. It does. Only for the white meat. Really good. Really good. Thank you, Chef. So this happy. is really, really good. Thank you. Can we try it? All right. Do you want a fork? Go ahead. No, you go ahead. Very hot. Mm, it's good. Wow. Very tender. Do you even taste the flavor of the lotus leaf? Yeah, you can. Yeah. It gives a different flavor, huh? Yeah, totally different. Yeah. This is so good. All right, now I think I will make it again. What's your favorite part? You like the dark meat or the light meat? I usually eat the dark meat. All right. I'm fine. That's your side, okay? This is, reminds me pretty much like a old mandarin. <laughs> really good. Thank you very much. Very good. Well, I just followed you a very did. good recipe. Uh, so 
many other people try to do this, I think you're the best. That is a, a really? great thing to hear. Yeah, really. It's a great thing to hear. We moved from Shanghai to Beijing when I was a little girl, right. about four years old. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, we lived in a big house. My mother was a very good cook. Were your taste memories, when you, when you get that feeling of like, this is, I'm a little girl again eating, what yeah. region do you connect to most? Beijing and Shanghai. Yeah, still. Because Shanghai is my home.